Hello everyone, this is XM Physics. In this video, I will explain the concept of electric potential. Let's use GPE as an example. If we move a brick from the floor to the tabletop, it gains GPE, right? That's because the tabletop is at a higher height than the floor. Similarly, if we move a positive test charge Q towards a positively charged ball, from A to B, the EPE also increases. Remember when two like charges uh, come closer together, the EPE increases? So we can say that point B is electrically speaking higher ground than point A. This electrical elevation, so to speak, is called the electric potential. The easiest way to understand electric potential is to remember it as EPE per unit charge. It's usually represented by the symbol V and has the SI unit volt. One volt is one joules per second. Since EPE is a scalar, electric potential is also a scalar. Let's suppose that this, uh, this charged ball raises electric potential around it such that electric potential at this point is 2.0 volt. What does this mean? It means that a test charge of 3.0 nanocoulombs, if it's placed here, would have an EP of 6.0 nanojoules. Because 2.0 volt means 2.0 joules per coulombs. And we have 3.0 nanocoulombs here. On the other hand, if we place a negative charge of negative 3.0 nanocoulombs here, then this test charge will have an EP of negative 6.0 nanojoules. Strictly speaking, the EP uh, is stored in the system, meaning the EP is shared between the charge ball and the test charge. However, if all the charge ball does is to maintain the electric field, and the test charge is only one that's gaining or losing KE as the EP of the system changes, then after a while, um, everybody just kind of forget that the charge ball has a share to the EP as well. <laughs> anyway, we do the same thing uh, with GPE. The GPE does not belong to the brick, but the earth brick system. But it appears to belong to the brick only since the earth only shows negligible changes in KE as GPE changes. Alright, this is XM Physics. If you like my work, uh, do check out xmphysics.com. Lots of resources there to make your studies of physics fun and enjoyable. Ta-ta!